I'm Andy Beyer. I've been handicapping and betting the Kentucky Derby for about 35 years. And in most years, it's a wide open race you know, filled with question marks and unknown factors. But you know, the 2009 race seems to be different to me. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any big surprise on Saturday. Uh, at least a third of the horses in the field have no business in the race to begin with, and there is at most a handful of bona fide contenders. And I think there is a clear number one best horse in this field, and that's I Want Revenge. Nobody thought a great deal of him when he was running in California earlier this year on synthetic tracks, but when he came to New York and ran on the dirt, he was dynamite. He won the Gotham Stakes by eight lengths with a gigantic buyer speed figure that is much better than anybody else in the field. In the Wood Memorial, New York's big prep for the Kentucky Derby, he had an incredible amount of trouble, still overcame it, and managed to win. I mean, he's got speed, he's got versatility, he's got experience, he's got a top trainer. I see no knocks in his resume. The, uh, the only real threats to him uh, come from probably from Friesen Fire, who won three straight races in Louisiana, but maybe better on a sloppy track. He's good but hasn't beaten the quality of competition that I Want Revenge has. The other and the kind of the big unknown in the race is, is Dunkirk. He was very impressive running second in the Florida Derby this winter. He's got the second best speed figure in the race, but he's only raced three times in his career, and that's probably not enough. He, he never raced as a two-year-old, and he's got you know, a huge knock against him historically. Uh, the last horse who didn't run at two uh, and won the Derby was a horse named Apollo in 1882. So history's against him. I mean, of the contenders, there's one horse that I really dislike. Uh, that's Pioneer of the Nile, who's won four straight stakes in California. He's going to be the third or fourth choice in the betting, but he's never run on the dirt. And I think he is probably a synthetic track specialist. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for bets and ways to, you know, to make money just by taking a position of, against Pioneer of the Nile. For me, he's a throw out in all my exotic bets. The, the only other horses I see with kind of marginal chances in this field are the Arkansas Derby winner, Papa Clem, maybe the two horses from Dubai, Regal Ransom and Desert Party. But basically, you know, this is a race with, with relatively little depth of the contention and a race that I think I Want Revenge is going to win. I'm Andy Beyer for WashingtonPost.com.